Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Uh, as you may be able to see through the window behind me, it's a beautiful, bright, spring, sunny day in the UK. Um, I hope it's the same or similar where you are. In the following video, I have shared uh, some dough that's been in the fridge having a final proof. And I wanted to show what I look for when I decide to bake it. It's a question I'm often asked. So it will hopefully show you what it is that I look for. I just want to, wanted to add a note to say, please keep in mind that the aim of the final proof in the fridge is to firm up your dough so that when you turn out the dough, it holds its shape. It makes it easy for you to score, but also the time in the fridge helps develop the flavor. The dough in your banneton in the fridge does not have to keep growing. Mine does because my star is very strong, but if yours doesn't, it's not a problem as long as it does its job in the oven. So as long as your loaf is baking up and springing up and doing what you want it to in the oven, that's all that matters, not what happens whilst it's in the fridge. So I hope you find the following video useful. If you watch it to the end, you'll see uh, the bake that came as a result in um, a beautiful golden loaf. So I hope you find this all useful. Happy baking. Something that I'm often asked about is how I know when I'm ready to bake my dough. So let me show you what I look for. This dough has now proved overnight. So it proved for about 11 hours overnight, nice and bubbly, bursting out of the bowl this morning. And I put it into the banneton, so it's now been into banneton in the fridge for about six hours. So this is what I want. I want to see that it's nice and firm around the edges so that when I turn it out, I know it's going to hold its shape. So you can see, it's got a nice firm finish to it. So this is what I'm looking for, so that I know when I turn it out, it's gonna hold its shape, I'll be able to score it at will, without any rush, and it will hold its shape in the middle of the pan and bake well. So that is what I look for. So here we go. I've turned it out. I'm going to remove the banneton. And there's my dough. Nice and firm. Holding my shape perfectly. So all I need to do is give her a score. And look at that. nice smooth clean cut lines so i'm going to put my phone down so i can finish scoring and then she'll go and in here we go my scored loaf and that's what i want i want a dough that's firm holding its shape it's had time to develop its flavor and it's being scored well taking the cuts well without spreading so let's bake and see what she does. As you might notice, there's a yellow tint to this dough because this dough has been made using my master recipe. And I've replaced 100 grams of the bread flour with corn flour. Let's see what happens. Here we go, fresh from the oven. Look at that shape. Starting to sing. Competing with the birds outside. This was baked from a cold start. So I put it into a cold oven in a cold pan, then turned the oven up to 220 degrees centigrade fan and left it in there for 55 minutes. There we go, look at that. 